Hi, good people from all around the world. This is Nick from OVA Let's Plays, and welcome back to Calamity Mod Rogue Revengeance. In the last episode, we were this close to beating Astrum Dose. Really close. And it fell through the platform. And I might have been able to beat it. I might not have been able to. I don't know for sure. But I worked on the arena a bit. And unfortunately, the teleporter won't work if there's bosses active, which of course I'm using it to get up here to fight the boss so instead what I did is I made it as simple as I could with the platforms I, I fixed the holes in the asphalt with the platforms I added a bunch of the campfire heart lantern and the candle stations along with the honey here so I can get the honey buff as I go through and this time this time I did not forget the rod of discord guys so we got that so that's gonna help too I've also got margarita um, to help too. I'm debating on trying the margarita along with the vampire talisman. Maybe that will help me survive longer. I might also try the abyssal mirror instead of the vampire talisman, but that's what we got. So yeah, here we go. We gotta make it nighttime. I was so freaking close last time. I was so close, man. Alright, here we go. All right, we're already set. We're already set. All righty. <laughs> and now. <laughs> oh, dodge. Dodge the lasers of doom. Yes. All right, we're doing good so far. Come on. Come on, and... Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Falling star. That's cool. So far, it seems like we're doing much better this time. But we haven't gotten to the hardest part yet where it splits in two. That's where the dose part in its name comes from, because there's two of them. Oh, no. Whatever shall we do? Slimy saddle to fall faster. Yay. All right. And now. And... Yep, pass through that. Your lord knows you're going to need that later on. Okay, look on the mini-map. Okay, there's the one. There's the other one. All right. And now. Ha! Ah. Ah. Ha! 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 Uh, watch me fail later on. That's gonna be awkward. Okay. No, I was trying to. Mm. No, 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 no! Ah! Come on. What? Had to be two of them, didn't there? There just had to be two. There just had to be them. <sighs> Come on. Run, 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 run. I'm trying to keep them together as much as I can, because once they split up, Jesus, they had to leave those everywhere, didn't they? Because once they split up, that's when it gets more difficult. If they do the same motion, if you get them to do the same motion together, it's not as bad. It's still bad, but not as bad, because it's almost the same. But now they're split up, so that's not gonna... Oh, God. Now they're split up, so they have to keep track of both of them now. No! No, no, no! I'm trying to run! Alright, I, I need to stop yelling. I need to stop yelling. That's what I need to do. 
Come on. have that what is that about why is that there aside from the mod devs made it there but aside from that I, I thought I could get underneath it and then escape to the other side but then the that showed up all right I gotta try tactics let's see if the abyssal mirror if that's gonna work any better go, right at some point when I get to post Moon Lord, or maybe even before post, post Moon Lord, I almost said Pooh Moon Lord. <laughs> um, I'm gonna have to go with just having one episode a week versus the two because I can't put keep putting out episodes where I just I'm stumped and I'm keep losing to the boss over and over and make no progress, and that's gonna get harder as as it goes on. I know it will. And I'm not going to be able to put up two episodes a week because then it will just be just me dying loads of times to the same boss, like two episodes. Um, so at some point I'm going to have to put only one episode a week because it's going to be... I have to make it nighttime. I'm going to heal up a little bit first. No, I was trying to go more left, not that... Mm. Eighteen percent. We got one down. Eighteen percent. Come on, come on. No, don't get me. Mm. Ah. So I'm definitely gonna have to start putting out one episode versus two because I don't know how many times I'm gonna have to try to fight this thing, and there's only so much time. No, I'm trying to get away again. I'm trying to get, let me get away. Alright, at least they're kind of synced up there a little bit. There's a wavy gossip. Dude, I'm just... Oh, right where I'm trying to go. Look, they do it on purpose! Well, purposeful middle finger to me. Oh, you thought you're so close. You're, we're at five percent. We're gonna kill you now. That's the only way I can think of. If... I'm gonna give it one more try, but with the plague nades this time, and we'll see. We will see. I don't think Plagnids don't seem to be doing much damage to them. Yeah, no. No, Plagnids are not good for this. No. I think there's a thing that only takes only a certain amount of damage from Plagnids. Uh, I'm so glad, though, when this was suggested in death mode that I didn't take death mode on because... <laughs> I think on a classless playthrough where I could use any class, I think I could I could be, beat death mode possibly, but there's no way I'm I'm struggling with rogue. I'd probably struggle with expert.
this is where he gets... Oh, man. No! Mm. Every single time! Every single time, right as I'm getting close to beating them, they do this stuff every single time to me. Every time. I beat, I beat him! Oh! 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 Oh my god. Oh! I beat him, guys. Oh, I'm so glad I gave him that last try. Oh, thank you, Jesus. It's... This is the biggest relief yet. I didn't seem quite as excited, but it was because I was so shocked that I did beat it and now I have no idea where the treasure bag is no idea no clue it doesn't seem to show up on the map either so it could be down here it could be up there I have no idea but I'm just relieved at this point I can mine the astral bars now and I can get uh, the upgrade to the prismaline I think it's the radiant star if I remember right probably won't do as good a star of destruction but at least we can get the deific amulet, which is an upgrade to that. So hopefully that will that's going to help us. And we can take on, um, I think I beat, uh, we can take on Duke Fishron and we can take on, um, we can take on Duke Fishron and, um, and play Bringer Goliath. I cannot find the treasure. Is that the treasure? No freaking, I thought you were a treasure bag. I lost the treasure bag, guys. I lost the treasure bag. I am so freaking relieved. I'm relieved beyond relieved. I just wish I knew where the freaking... Is it in my inventory and I'm just an idiot? That's... that's happens a lot. Me being an idiot. But sometimes I'm smart. Believe it or not, it's true. Sometimes I am. Um... Where? What happened to the freaking treasure bag? Where did it go? Like normally they show up on the map and you can track it that way. That is nowhere on the map. At least that's the way it was with Agents Awakened. It showed up on the map if you. Uh... Do 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 do. Do do sadness panda. Okay, I'm gonna drop this. 
I'm gonna move this down here so if it does pop up here, it'll show up there. And that's what I'm hoping for. <laughs> Alright, either way, I am relieved. I am freaking so relieved right now. Right, I'm gonna keep going right. Eventually, I will get it. I can't believe I beat it, guys. I was this close to dying. And I saw the one had like zero, like two percent, and I thought, okay, I might be able to beat that one, but I know the other one's gonna get me. I know the other one's gonna get me. Um, all right, there's no way I was this far. There's no way. I don't think I was that far. So it's got to be in this lower section here. All right. But I thought, yeah, I might be able to beat the other one, and maybe the other one will drop some hearts, and that will help a little bit. But I thought for sure the other one was gonna get me. But I think the moment the other one died is when. Uh, they both die, I think. If one dies, they both, they both die. Ah, yes. Yes! Alright, let's see what we got. Let's see what we got here. There's the microwave. Kind of, it does sound like a microwave. There's that. Pride of astronauts taking damage or flipping true names. They start to touch this. Hey, this is, this is good. If I was doing a melee playthrough, that would be useful. Regulus Riot. Now, I haven't heard of this one. This is interesting. Fires a swift homing disc. Stealth strikes explode in energy stars. Might be good. The homing aspect of it might be useful. <laughs> oh, it does fire through walls, so that might actually be useful for the, uh... It might actually be useful for the, uh... For Moon Lord. It might be. But then again... Oh. I did not mean to do that. Right. Is, it, is it used for anything else? I'm glad I got that though, because at least... I bet the Star of Destruction fire... Yeah, that fires through walls too, so... I mean, it doesn't home in, but... Well, now I can mine the Astral Bar, so there's that. I can mine the Astral Ore, I mean, and then get the closer if I just use the mirror here. I am, I am so freaking relieved, guys. You, you guys, oh man. Oh, it's so relieved. But I, I do think it's a good idea what I said. Um, I know some of you guys might be disappointed, but if you look at it this way, there's, there's still gonna be other videos. Um, I'm thinking about doing Saturday for the playthrough, and then the Sunday having just a regular Terraria video. see what we can do with this besides the turn into the astral bar we can make die with it all right oh, man I'm so freaking relieved oh we got it yeah then I am so freaking relieved my god what not the time for this. This is not the time. I wish I had Fargo's. I should enable Fargo's again so I can end events and stuff. Uh, this is a horrible, it's horrible timing for this. Horrible. See what I need to. Don't tell me I threw it away. There's astral mono. I threw it away over there. So I have to go all the way. I'll be back, guys. Alright, guys, I got it. It was. It was back here. I picked up the astral monolith, thinking it was the uh, thinking it was the astral ore, but we got it now. So we're good. Still got the freaking pirate event to deal with, so that's kind of annoying. 
but at least we got the astral bar now. The astral orb. There we go. Looks like a gummy. Like I can imagine a gummy candy. Alright, let's see what we can do with this now. I know we can do the deific amulet and upgrade the the deific amulet we need the star veil. Yeah. Hadrian Oh. Hadrian membrane. Membrane of actual future dreams. Oh, you have to wear the astral armor, which is not rogue, so it's not worth it, really. Astral bar, dark or Oh, so now you can summon... Not consume though, so that's good. There's the astral pickaxe. She does a little bit more pickaxe damage and has more range, but aside from that, it's not really... Astral blade. True biome blade. Oh, I almost thought that said rogue. I'm like, I've never seen a rogue gun before. Alright. So, the upgrade of the Prismaline, we can do that. That does 76. I doubt, I doubt it's going to be any as good as that. But we're going to have to see anyways, because I've been waiting since the beginning to do this. Alright, so here we go. All right, Radiant Star. I mean, it does go pretty quick. It does go pretty quick. So there is that. Um, that's set only 76. Throw stackers that explode and split after a while. Still striking. Sucks hitting these. All right, let's see the self strike down. Whoa. I mean, the homing aspect of it's pretty nice, and you get a lot of projectiles. The stars are pretty cool, too. The next upgrade, though, probably won't be until after Providence, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Shattered Sun, that's Divine Geode. I don't know if, I think that post profit I think that drops from Providence, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but that does 600 monstrous daggers that split in Scorching Homing Daggers. Those strikes fire volleys of Homing Daggers. Alright, so we got that. We can get the Deific Amulet in the next episode, because I don't have the Star Veil. I have everything else I need. Probably gonna get it with cheat sheet anyways, but uh, at least all the ingredients, and then I can craft it on screen in the next episode. And then we can take on. I bet this would help a Duke Fish Run because you could focus more on dodging. So this might be good for Duke Fish Run, so we could try that out. And then fight. It is really beautiful though, even if the DPS isn't maybe as good as the Star of Destruction. But it makes sense though, because that's like. After lunatic focus. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm so glad I made it past that in the next episode. Hopefully we'll be able to beat Duke Fishbron and um, and the Plague Bringer, and then in the episode after that we'll be able to take on the Moon Lord and then things really <laughs> really ramp up. I have no idea how I'm gonna beat Providence and Devour of Gods, so those will Two, I'm anticipating the most, and then after that, Yaron. Oh my god, Yaron. I don't know how to do that, but thank you guys for watching. Bye, everybody.